And we are rapidly creeping up on the NFL draft. 16 days away. Questions still looming as to how the Packers will replace the receiver Devontae Adams. They have the 22nd and 28th picks in this draft. And so Jeremy Fowler, my insider extraordinaire, what is Green Bay looking at with the departure of Devontae Adams to give Aaron Rodgers some help? Well, Greeny, I'm hearing that some of the top receivers in this draft believe that the Packers could be a sleeper for their services somewhere in the first round, but they also play it conservatively. It takes a lot to move up in the draft into the top ten to get a guy like that, and they typically don't go first round on receivers. So it could be day two where they make their mark, maybe go pass rush defense in round one. You are looking at Mel's top five receivers. I can tell you that most of the predictions uh, have six or seven receivers going in round one. It is that good and that deep. Teddy Bruschi, can they get a rookie and feel everything is okay? Is a rookie Rookie receiver, no matter how special, good enough to fill the shoes of Devontae Adams this year for a Super Bowl team? To fill his shoes, I, I say no, but can they be better? I say yes. Um, when that's going to be, it definitely won't be in September uh, because no matter who they bring in, I mean, one rookie, two rookie, Aaron's got to get used to something. He's got to get used to not targeting one player 100 more times than the next player, which is what mm -hmm. he did with Devontae Adams. It was actually, I mean, if you look at these numbers, I mean, the targets that he had over the last two seasons, I mean, it is it is Devontae and then it's everyone else. So it's like defense is going up against Rodgers with Devontae Adams. You know who he's going to target, when to double him, certain situations, make him feel uncomfortable and go other places. Now, in September, when he has a rookie receiver and they are trying to get used to that chemistry, there can be frustrations. So I see struggles early. But later in the season, Aaron learning to spread it around more, not having Devontae 100, target 100 more times than the next receiver, this, can where they, this is where they can get better and have more progress. But it's not going to happen until after Thanksgiving. That's a really interesting thought. Cam, how about it? How about a, a little more diversity in an offense as, as brilliant a player as Devontae obviously is? I mean, just think about it. It's, I'm just going to rely on it's Aaron Rodgers, right? At the end of the day, he's played without Devontae, but, I mean, Devontae brings a lot. Now, everybody knows you're targeting Devontae, and you still can't stop him. Unless you're the Saints. And, then, you know. <laughs> and you guys, you <laughs> guys feel cool, as though you have. How about it, Bart? How, how about this idea? What do you think? Listen, Cam, Cam has witnessed this, right? He's played with Michael Thomas. Remember, Michael Thomas was Devontae Adams before Devontae Adams you know, took that spot because of the injuries, right? It's nobody that you can use or draft that can replace the best receiver in the game because you can't – it doesn't matter. You can go get the best young receiver right now. He's not going to dictate coverages to open everything else up. So, listen, they can do it, but it's going to be more on Aaron Rodgers' shoulders. You know, Jordy Nelson took time to develop, right? Greg Jennings took time to develop. Aaron Rodgers doesn't have time. Every year he's up you know maybe considering retirement so listen I think it was a big mistake the best thing they can do is package those two picks and try and get DK Metcalf the problem is DK Metcalf is going to want more than the 25 million dollars that they offered to buy the Adams because yesterday's price is not today's price <laughs> I, I'm with that I've, I've been saying that Jeremy it was super quick DK Metcalf is that still going to happen are we still keeping a close eye on him as a possible trade Yes, because teams are calling. Seattle has not moved on that yet. They've given indications publicly and privately they do not want to do a deal, but there will be a market. So watch on this closer to the draft. All right, hold on to that thought. That's something I want to come back to as we go. And as I remind you that Green Bay, if they take a receiver in the first round, uh, it would be something they haven't done since 2002. You see that's the third longest active drought of that sort, not including quarterbacks. They've actually gone 19 straight drafts without taking any offensive skill position players in round one. That is the longest drought in the Common draft. <laughs> Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.